Russian President Vladimir Putin claimed that the West deceived Moscow about the humanitarian goals of the Black Sea Initiative during a joint press conference with Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan following talks in Sochi on Monday. To put it mildly, the West has been deceiving us about the humanitarian goals of the Black Sea Initiative to assist developing countries because of the 32.8 million tons of cargo exported from Ukraine, more than 70 percent, I want to stress this again, more than 70 percent went to wealthy countries, first and foremost the countries of the European Union, whereas only 3 percent went to countries that really need food aid, that is less than 1 million tons, Putin said. He, however, pointed out that Moscow would be ready to consider the possibility of resuming the grain deal should all the agreements to lift restrictions on exports of Russian agricultural products be implemented. Russia, despite all the obstacles, intends to continue to export food and fertilizers to help stabilize prices and improve the situation in the global agricultural industry. For this purpose, we have proposed in particular to organize the supply of one million tons of grain from Russia at a preferential price to be processed in Turkey and then transported free of charge to the poorest countries, the Russian leader noted. Putin added that Russian-Turkish talks were held in a constructive and professional atmosphere. The leaders discussed cooperation in the security, economic, political, cultural and humanitarian spheres, as well as exchanged views on topical issues on the international and regional agenda. The Black Sea Grain Deal, signed in Istanbul in July 2022, between representatives of Russia, Turkey, Ukraine and the United Nations, expired on July 17th. While the agreement allowed for the export of both Ukrainian grain and Russian food and fertilizers, Moscow repeatedly insisted the latter part of the deal was not being implemented. The Russian foreign ministry claimed that the blatant sabotage of the Istanbul agreements defeats the purpose of continuing the Black Sea initiative which did not live up to its humanitarian rationale, while Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said that it could return as soon as the Russian part is implemented. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Kiev was determined to continue the work of the Black Sea Grain Initiative or its counterpart in a tripartite format, including Ukraine, the UN and Turkey. He claimed that the deal had ensured the exports of up to 33 million tons of agricultural produce to 45 countries of the world, with 60 percent shipped to countries in Africa and Asia. Advisor to the head of office of the president of Ukraine, Mikhailo Podolyak, was quoted as saying that no country would dare to send their ships to Ukrainian ports following the termination of the deal. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres expressed his deep regret at Russia's decision to terminate the deal, saying that it had ensured the safe passage of over 32 million metric tons of food commodities from Ukrainian ports. In July, Erdogan said that he believed Putin wants the continuation of this humanitarian bridge when he first announced talks would take place with the Russian leader.